Hey, it's Olay from Fly Photography. Um, so, today I am going to re record our tutorial on how to make uh, ground glass or DIY uh, ground glass for the Polaroid uh, camera so you can double check your focusing from your viewfinder and your taking lens. Um, yesterday I did a, a video off of my cell phone and then I uploaded it and then I watched it myself and realized how terrible and dark um, the video was. So today I'm just re-recording um, the same video but just kind of with a better camera. Um, so like I said in the previous video, um, I did a Google search on how to make a ground glass because I broke um, my ground glass on my crown graphic and I realized uh, the answer was as easy as wax paper. Um, on a, piece, on a piece of glass or uh, anything that could uh, be reflective and viewed from the back of the camera. So um, the DIY project today, um, all you need is some wax paper, tape, uh, scissors, and a used um, empty pack of uh, film holder. So the first step to do is take your uh, holder apart and you have your back piece you have your center piece and your front piece and you want to cut a square out of the center piece here so I started already um, so you just cut an opening out of the inside of the film holder the doesn't have to be super big. It just has to be enough for you to actually look through and and use it as a viewing screen. Um, so, but the trick is to not make it um, too big so that this is not as uh, becomes uh, less sturdy. So this is a a, a good size right here. Next step is to get your wax paper and cut out uh, a piece of the wax paper to kind of cover the area that you cut out. So when you remove your wax paper make sure you don't um, make any creases on the wax paper. So really do your best to tear it off neatly and then you just measure that up uh, to the area that you cut out like so and then you just cut it down to size and then um, after that you just tape this down uh, gently and it doesn't have to be any special special type of tape um, uh, whatever you have available is fine um, the thing is you want to make sure when you're taping it down it is um, nice and even and flat and flush to your holder. You don't want to have any uh, extra creases if possible. And like so. And I'm going to put a piece here and then a piece on this side. Um, so I think this would be the, the most difficult part is to make sure that the the wax paper is laid uh, perfectly onto your holder because this, like I said, this thing can get wrinkled real easily and that actually will cause a weird uh, look. So there we go. So we now have our wax paper taped down uh, pretty 
even. And then after that, you just put that back into your holder. So you should have something that looks like this. And then you want to add the back to the holder. But before you finalize that part of it, you want to need to cut out a hole in this area so you can actually see through your holder. So all I'm doing is just cutting out the viewing area. Oops. Make sure you don't break that edge because if you do that then it won't um, be easy to hold your pieces back together. Um, this is not as critical. Um, so we have a piece that looks like this. And then now we're just going to add that back onto um, the front part of your film case. <coughs> like so. So pretty much you'll have a device that looks like this. And the wax paper really is just mimicking what um, the negative would look like on the front of the holder. So that is pretty much it. Um, it's the easiest uh, thing you could probably do. Um, that's super powerful. And all you do now is add that to the back of your camera. So you just open your camera up and then you add this in just like you were loading a regular film like so and then I don't know if you could see but if you look into the back of the camera you'll start actually seeing an image uh, coming through from your taking lens and then you will see that it's actually working um, the next video is going to be how to um, check your, how to use the ground glass um, and to check it with your viewfinder. Again, thank you for watching. Um, I apologize for the first video. Um, and like I said, this is re-recording uh, the DIY project of the ground glass for your Polaroid Man camera.